a special report from the city of Kharkiv in the east of Ukraine and the country's second largest city. Kharkiv has endured nightly Russian air attacks and suffered dozens of civilian deaths and hundreds of injuries. Most of the city's one and a half million residents have fled. Well, the Ukrainian forces fought back a Russian armoured column in the early days of the invasion. And they've been fighting since to stop a further Russian advance. Our correspondent, Quentin Somerville, and cameraman Darren Conway have spent the week with the Ukrainian forces there. And I should warn you that their report contains graphic images from the front line that some viewers will find disturbing. Head to the very eastern edge of Ukraine and a ghostly vision of the country's fate unfolds before you. The city of Kharkiv is being purged of life. In near total blackout, the police in the country's second largest city take his on patrol. The Russians aren't far. Shelling happens every night. This close to the Russian border, there's another threat here. Saboteurs. No one escapes scrutiny. Alina, 76 years old, is lost and confused. In an instant, everybody's life here has been upended. But this young nation has surprised Russia and the world with its resolve. We weave our way past the fallen into no man's land with the Ukrainian army. Here is 21-year-old Yevgen Gromadsky. Where are the Russians? Over the sound of shelling, he tells me, the Russian soldiers are standing about 900 metres away from here. You can hear right now that they're firing on our positions, and we are firing back. It's a grenade launcher. British. But it's more than just a grenade launcher, it's a guided missile. Is it good against tanks? It's uh, the best we have right now. How are the Russians fighting? They're fighting like soldiers of 1941. Uh, they attacking just like in front. Now they don't do any maneuvers. So yeah, they have a lot of people, have a lot of ta tanks, a lot of their vehicles and techniques. But uh, we fight in our land and uh, we protect our families. So it doesn't matter how they fight. We fight like lions, and they won't win. This is what people have been fleeing in Kharkiv. Endless bombardment for the past two weeks. Our administration would like to inform you that a fire has started in the building. Of that reason, please go to the ground floor and from there leave the building. This is what Russia does to cities. It bombards them. It besieges them, it surrounds them, it terrorises entire populations. And if these tactics are unfamiliar to you, then you haven't been paying attention, because this is the Russian attack playbook, perfected in over 10 years of war in Syria. We know that Russia bombs hospitals. So here at the city's hospital number four, they keep the wounded in hallways, away from the windows. Miss Valentina has been hit by shrapnel. I have a poem for you, she says. These stupid Russian shrapnel pieces I will carry all my life. But as long as my heart still beats, I will still live and love. And so too will eight-year-old Dmitri, now that this has been removed from his skull. This is the war that Russia has fought before and is fighting again. We don't know the rest of Ukraine's fate, but Kharkiv has already shown what's coming next. Defenders, we will ride together. We will win this war. And all our heroic people will gather to rebuild our beloved Ukraine. Quentin Somerville, BBC News, Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine.